Thank you to our sponsor for curating this collection. Let's score art based on 14 qualities. Welcome back to another art score. Let's art score this painting. There's a clear subject, that's why this composition gets a nine. For the story, I gave it a six because I can feel a story, but I can't clearly determine what it is. And the reason I feel there's a story is that there is a difference between the triangle and the curved eyelids. This difference causes me to ask why, and the answer is the story. But I don't know the answer, and therefore, I can feel a story, but not see the story. This means I can clearly see the elements of the story, but the relationship between them is unclear. Paul has a great control over his medium. You can clearly see this in his use of the underpainting and overpainting technique. I love the warm palette of colors he chose. The colors are clean, toned down, and not loud. But with all of the warmth, my eye desires a cool break. Now the violet could do that, but with the red underpainting, it becomes too warm. This is why he gets a seven. His value plan is smart. The subject's eyeballs, mouth, eyebrow, and Adam's apple are all dark notes against a mid-tone arrangement. So I give this composition an eight regarding its value. Nowadays, a lot of abstract artists paint in a similar style, but they are influenced by Paul. So I gave Paul an eight in style because he is the influencer, not the one who's influenced. I gave the structure a nine. The composition is clearly composed and aligned deliberately. The way he makes the face, neck, and background so rhythmically symmetrical, you can clearly see he took the time to draft out his composition long before mixing any paint. That's why he gets a nine. Great job. I gave the movement an eight. Outside the curved eyebrow, his use of curves is very minimal. I do appreciate this though, because the curves in the eyes and how they contrast against the straight lines in the painting, it really emphasizes them and makes it important. Shape gets a seven as well. He uses very simple shapes and for the most part separates them from the background. Coming back to the curves in the eyes, I like how he contrasts the shapes he composed in the face, shoulder, and background against the curves of the eyes. His edges are done very well, and that's why I gave them a 7. You can tell he's thinking of both the positive and negative shapes, and more importantly, the relationships between the two. You can tell he's thinking of sharp and strong edges versus the diffused and soft edges. He's considering these things, and that's the sign of an artist who is in control and sensitive to his art. I gave him a 6 for soul. Just like the story, I can feel he wants to convey something beyond the surface, but I'm not experiencing the success of that aim. I do give him an 8 for the pattern. I can see he is theming the background into thirds. Part of the face is also themed into third as well as halves. And it's clear that he's done this deliberately. I gave this composition an 8 for harmony. As my eye travels around the image and then back into the center of the image, there's nothing that's stopping my eye. My eye is not getting caught in a gutter or being thrown off the edge of the canvas in a serious way. There is a small spot in the bottom right hand corner where a gutter is formed and in that little triangle my eye does use a little extra effort to not get sucked into once my eye gets past that point it flows through the rest of the image with ease i gave his signature an eight as well the value contrast of the signature compared to the background is low this allows my eye to move over the signature effortlessly the signature is not competing with the painting and it has a generous amount of space around it so my eye can flow around the signature as well. Now I don't give the composition a nine because the signature is on a slight angle that is disturbing. Around the signature, there are many verticals and horizontal lines. So this composition earned 116 points out of 128 points. This is an 84% art score. Now my threshold for buying a painting is 85%, but since this composition comes so close, I would say buy it. If you like this style, it would be a great painting to own. In conclusion, after spending some time with this artwork, I walk away a fan because I can see that he's a smart artist and he's taking the time to design out all of the relationships in his painting. And that is so cool. Great job.